Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast. I hope you guys are well. Kim's here. G-Man. This one's a special episode. Uh, this is like an extra bonus one for the week. So this, I mean, we're going to call this one Marvel Updates. Uh, we had an interesting special week last week. So I think as Marvel fans, we, we, we've had so much come out. But where you want to start, G-Man? Well, we've got to start with the big one, man. Oof. Last week was a Marvel... I keep saying that the MCU is back. Now, I can't predict that forever, but based so, on what happened last week... There's so much. So we got the trailer for Agatha all along. Uh, we got to go to a special screening of Deadpool and Wolverine. And then they released a new... A brave new world, Captain America, Sam Wilson's uh, uh, the trailer. Uh, well, look, let's let's start with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay, this was big. This was... And of course, we're not spoiling anything. But we, the brothers, I'm, I'm so happy, like, I'm grateful that we're in a position where we got this opportunity. But what a screening. What an Oof. event. What an event. It was an event. Yeah, was yeah. A screening. It was a mad event that they put on. The, was it the Royal Albert Hall? No, no, bro. Oh, uh, uh, event Hammersmith. Hammersmith. Apollo. Hammersmith. Hammersmith Apollo. My bad. My bad. Yeah. And, man, it, just the, the people who showed up, the cast were all there. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. But just... Some of the people that we know, the, the cosplayers, all that sort of stuff, it was, it was huge. Massive, then, massive. Shout outs to Small Town Critics, Stephen Geekface, Michael Adji. Uh, who else did we see? Wolver Steve. Wolver Steve. Oh my God, we Wolver Steve. Definitely a big shout outs to him who uh, got some awesome pictures with the cast as well. So, but this event, it was like a screening with like, the producers, uh, the cast members, director Sean Le- Levy. Uh, you had like a battle of the bands with some great music, with live music, awesome. always great. And they done tunes from the movie. That yeah. live music always awesome. They had that DJ. Oh, uh, Martin, Martin. Oh, he's from he Spanish Ballet. Basically. Yeah, he spent some. He's he's he, he done some classic eighties. Yeah, tunes. yeah, definitely did. And then you know the highlight for me, obviously, we watched we watched a portion of the movie, thirty seven minutes, which we won't say nothing. But the highlight was I got a little high five from Hugh Jackman. Yeah. I know we didn't get the one on one, but that high five was awesome. Like where everything worked out great, you know, um, from where we sat, the person next to me not showing up, so they take his goodie bag for Ash because oh, Ash couldn't make it. Um, <laughs> you know, after the thing, we we done TV reaction as well, so yeah, be out there on the internet on TV on their official website, but. Yeah. Hugh Jackman giving us a high five was was amazing. Yeah, I, I something to remember. And then the cast were giving up, uh, you know, just being on the stage. Like Ryan Reynolds is like a comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Comedy show in a sense because he's busting so much job and it's giving a background on the movie. And then, oh my God, the 35 minutes, the 37 minutes. I would have paid, I would have paid cinema price for it, you know. I like, think we would have paid more because the cast come out. Okay, okay, no. Say if they said to you, hey, uh, you could watch the first 37 minutes, it cost, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. the cinema. Like, hey, okay, I'll pay, I'll take would, the money. Take I would have paid Take that it. money. Take that money. Whoa. Yeah. Again, I keep saying the MCU's back with this. And then after seeing the Falcon, uh, the, sorry, the Captain America trailer, I keep saying the MCU's back. But this 37 yeah. minutes they gave us was a comic book dream. It Definitely was, a comic book dream. Definitely yeah. a comic book dream. I, I would say... Uh, Comic book fans, this is going to be my quote. You guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we're going to drop some, like, hopefully, during. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this, but I'm going to drop some clips and stuff in here. But the way no Ryan... Spoiler. On, no spoilers. It's no spoilers. Like no, I'm just going to drop clips from the event and stuff like that. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. But yeah. what Ryan and you have done and Sean Levy have done is, like, really put together something that is uh, something fresh for the MCU. And for comic book fans, is a delight. Yeah, I spoke. But to even you. Deadpool fans, yeah. Oh, Wolverine fans and Deadpool fans for sure. I spoke to Uncle yesterday. Yeah, and I said if there's anything that you ever do, if you want to go cinema, if you, I know you don't go cinema or nothing, and I know you just wait for VC yeah. games or VC you games. You need to go <laughs> cinema. Yeah, you, I told you, you need to go cinema for this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I said, that. I said if you even just come down here and go with Ash. You need to go cinema off of you. I'm telling my uncle, like, normally I wouldn't force him. I'm forcing him. as He has to. He's a Wolverine, but he got us into it. Yeah, I mean... He got us into X-Men and Wolverine, man. It, it's just what I'm saying. So yeah, like, he, as a comic book fan, as an MCU fan, as a comic book fan, as a Deadpool fan, as a Wolverine fan, like you, oh my God. And we all, and this, is, this is based on 37 minutes. I can't even imagine what the hell... 
how what they're going to put in the rest of the movie based on what they already put, gave us in the first phase seven. Like that, I, I was trying to, I was trying to figure it out. Yeah. Like when I when I say this is end game levels, I'm talking about the um, as comic book fans, as MCU fans, as as uh, Easter egg fans, as all of that stuff. Mm. What they gave in the first thirty seven minutes is, in my opinion, like more than in any other movie they've given us. So what can we expect for the whole movie? I, I can't That's insane, wait. right. You think about that and what they've given in 37 minutes. Oof. Right, All right, you guys are in I for think a that's treat. what the strategy why they gave only a 37 minute screening because they're like, trust me, this is enough. Like, I don't need to give it's, you the whole movie. Like, I mean, of course it would have been amazing, but normally with the whole movie, they want people to watch the whole movie and then give a reaction on that or whatnot. This is like, just take the first 37 minutes and then we'll see, let's see what your reactions are. They kind of like, uh, uh, such a crucial point, isn't it? The way they cut it. Oh, I, 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 um, I can't remember, except Endgames, but Endgames had this epic moment. Mm. I just can't remember a movie where it immediately starts and for 37 minutes we're just like, oh, get up, that, 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 that. Bro, <laughs> how? Which movie? Tell me. There's no movies like that. There's no movies like that. It's, it's, it's amazing to see reactions like that because, you know, I compared Bad Boys 4 because of reactions of the way the cinema reacted to end games. Yeah. That's big in itself. And that's a movie that's not even a comic book movie. That was just because it's, you know, bad boys and Will Smith, Mike Lawrence coming back. This alone, oh my God, it was the crowd was crazy. And I know it's like a special moment. Everybody's excited. The thing is, I do, I'd react the same way now when we go watch it. I mean, I've got my ticket booked. I'm hoping we get the screening, bro. Email them for Dubai for me, man. I'm telling you, a hundred percent. I can't wait to go back and see what I've seen, and then just see the rest because, wow, like I haven't been hyped for. I'm telling you now, minimum a billion dollar movie, minimum. But I have this weird feeling this is this is going to go into the top five of all time. So I'm saying it's going to hit the two bill. An R-rated movie as well. R-rated comic book movie. I mean, I hundred percent. I'm think, I'm saying I feel like it's gonna get to the top five of all time, bro. If it does that, it'll be an interesting conversation. The only reason why I can cut, I don't think it'll get in the top three is because of um, you know, it's no children and stuff like that. So you don't count their tickets, mm. right? Um, but I'm telling you, I'm thinking in the top five because insane, absolutely insane, insane. Absolutely. I mean, man. Two weeks, guys. Yeah, now two weeks. Great. Great. Hope your tickets are booked. But yeah, we had a great experience. Shout out to the guys at Marvel UK and Disney UK for sending us the invite. You know, I did send an email saying thank you to everybody because that was a lot of hard work, bro. Getting people together, making sure it runs smoothly. The show was great. It wasn't, just, as we said, it wasn't just the screening. It was the whole event itself was yeah. just put together nicely like something i'll remember for a very long time i did not sleep we yeah the energy that we had after oh yes bro I mean, the energy that we had so we came out smiling of course and whatnot immediately some some they took us away to go on tv because they just i mean everyone was like that or i guess we were lucky yeah. in that case but the people on the way home are and i mean like why wouldn't you want to talk to positive people like with positive and energy spread yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. were so happy smiles from head to head just random people in the streets were talking to us. Random people were talking to us on the train. They were like, did you see it? What's going on? You guys are so happy. Yeah. Uh, and we're just expressing. I was like, this is this is a beautiful moment. This it is, is a happiness. Was, we'll enjoy it. And this is, this is the, you know, so I'm saying like, with, you know, happy energy uh, expands, man. You know what I mean? It sends that energy out. And we just met so many people, man. We're so happy. I didn't even see Yeah, man. Now. We've got, we've got, <laughs> we met so many people, which was absolutely amazing. People were at the event as well. And then, you know, on the way, on the journey home. Uh, and then, yeah, it was insane. Like, that. it was a great energy after, great which is energy. great because, you know, you just saw a couple of fans really in in their element, which was amazing. Uh, you know, we, you know, we're like, we're, we're, we're adults, 40 year old adults, we're geeks, <laughs> your father <laughs> and my husband, we're both husbands. Like we were literally kids, man. And yeah, it's like yeah, the yeah. joy, like it's, it's weird. The joy that, you know, say Disney, Marvel, Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Levy. What's his name, sir? Levy. Levy. Sean Levy. Sean yeah. Levy. 
Like all of them, the whole cast, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even who's that? The guy, the moustache who plays. Um, uh, Mr. Delaney. Mr. Delaney, is that his name? Yeah, film, yeah, film, yeah. Film, yeah. Um, what was his name in the movie, man? I can't remember his name in the movie. Pete or something like that. Pete, yeah, Pete, yeah. Man, him as well. I learned so much about him. And he, his, his son passing away, uh, dying from cancer. Like he was there, and obviously he's a comedian as well. But the, I, I learned more about him, which just gave me more love for that cat, for him as a person and his character and whatnot. Mm. Um, you know, and he, uh, you know, he's talking about some other stuff um, about he, he can relate the, the death of his son to uh, the death of the children in Palestine. And the, he, bro, he was a beautiful man. man. He that is. Amazing. He is. Um, yeah. But the joy that they put, came together to give to us. Yeah. Like Hugh, I want to say to Hugh, like massive thank you for like for me, like investing your life, your emotions into this character. Hmm. Right. Because from the beginning, where a lot of people, me myself, didn't really accept you as Wolverine, was like, ah, whatever. For you to just work on it, work on it, work physically, mentally, mm. getting your physique in a certain place, getting everything, your your facial expressions and your attitude. No, it's like, all the way to Logan when I was like, you're my Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. now you've come back and done this and gave us so much material, you're my Wolverine. I have to thank him for putting his life. He did. Like, he did. He, he, he did. He did. You know, and I, I, I and the Ryan Reynolds obviously he was born for Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him for putting his foot down and making it happen. Yes. Um, for him, you know, Ryan Reynolds when um that guy's son died, I forgot, I should know his name. I will find it. When his son died, you know, he said, "I need you to be in Deadpool too." Just, just, just making these things happen. You're just, you listen, man. The joy you bring in people, it, it's weird. Yeah, but yeah. you bring joy to people like us, and I'm happy. And like I said, we spreaded that joy. We took that energy you gave us, and we spreaded it. And people were talking to us, and they were happy. And we left people with positive. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, night yeah. was a positive night, uh, and and it's all, you know, based on what you guys put together. So like, like, love, man. I hope people like creators and whatnot respect what you mm. guys do. Yeah, no, exactly, bro. Exactly. I think it's really important. Yeah, that people. See the respect in it. Why isn't it coming up, man? Yeah, got to respect his name because I learned about him, his his uh, his kid, and our uh, heartbreaking story. Heartbreaking story. Um, yeah. He was yeah. on a recent podcast with Me- Me- uh, Mehdi Mehdi Hassan. The uh, it's a tale podcast. He was talking about it as well, and obviously his um his uh he can relate to the children dying in Palestine because he held his dead son. Rob Delaney. Hand. Rob Delaney. Shout out and see you, dude. Love to that guy. Love yeah. to that guy. Bro, the energy, man. Deadpool Wolverine. Guys, book your tickets. Book your tickets. You can't be, like, you, you know, they tried, like, tried to get us to re- react immediately so hard. It was so hard to react. What I'm trying to say is, uh, could, you got to say in one word and shit, huh? Book your tickets because you need to be first. You can't afford a single spoiler. You can't afford it. And you want to be first. You want to enjoy it. You want to love it. Um... It's it's MCU is back, man. I can't predict the future, but right now the MCU is back. No, awesome, absolutely awesome. Well, let, let's quickly take that energy to the to the next best thing, in my opinion, which was the Captain America. Oh, wow. that trailer, bro! Wow, man, I got like Winter Soldier vibes. Oof, I, I love that. that. I love that. Do you, you know what's crazy? Do you know what's crazy? He's my cat now. Yeah. After seeing that, there was no like trend. I know they done the show, which I thought was perfect. Trend. Yeah, 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 I love it. Yeah. I, I, I do think that was a great trend because I, I said this. Listen, man, I was having a conversation with a friend the other day, and he's talking about the wokeness and all that sort of shit. I'm like, yeah, 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 cool. I agree. However, cat, no, they that was a ten year transition. That's the way you do it. Yes. If you exactly. want a coloured black Captain America, that is the way you do it. It was a ten year transition. Yeah. Steve Rogers himself picked. Wilson. And I know it's a movie. Exactly, yeah. He picked him because he's the right person for the job. It's a 10 year thing. They gave us that this show, which is a transition period. When I saw this trailer, bro, I Ooh, saw Captain that's America. Cap, that's, that's, that's my, my cap. Captain America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. never forget Steve Rogers and whatnot. Smash it. Sam Wilson. Uh, what's, his, what's his real name? Right? Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. He, bro, he's my cat now. Yeah, yeah. He looked yeah. fantastic. Oh, bro. Come on, that trailer, man. The trailer was insane. So. When it soldier vibes, it gave me espionage and a lot of issues. Uh, good to see Harrison Ford coming into the role. I know there's a lot of drama. I saw some drama online. People are like, eh, you didn't recast T'Challa, but you recasted, uh, what's the name? Ruff. Ruff. Uh, Ruff, yeah. Um, man, respect. No, it's William, William Hunt is the actor. 
What is he playing? The- Theodore Roth. Uh, the-, the the general. Yeah, General Ross. Ross. General, general Ross. Ross. General Ross. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was. That, he, listen, man. They are going to recast Charlie eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah definitely. They are. they are. I think it's the ongoing legacy, and it was the time period. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, somebody call it a knee jerking uh, problem for them to give Sherry Sherry the the mantle piece. But anyway, I'm not going to jump into that. The main thing is. This trailer gave such a good vibe. They gave a little uh, homage. Oh, they, not homage, but they they, <laughs> like, um, they said something in the beginning where uh, Cap says to him, I'm getting used to your new look. Now, they were referring to the moustache, but he was like, he was either get rid of the moustache or, be, or get rid of being a... Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, so go ahead, carry on, carry on. Yeah, no, listen, great vibe, great look, great feel. I know this has gone through a lot of changes. There are some elements to it now because... And I know they did a lot of script changing due to the character Saber, Saber, Saber or something, the Israeli character, superhero. Oh, what did they? Yeah, so they turned her into a black widow. Now. She's still in there. She's still in there, but she's a, she's playing a black widow. Really? Mm. So they're not giving her the thing? No. Interesting that they changed her. Why would I mean? No, but there's still backlash on it. Of course, but yeah. they tried to change. I thought they would have put it in there and tell everyone to back off. Um, excuse my language, because you know they still, you know, Disney's, you know. Yeah, no, I know. No, I, 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 I feel like if it was a, um, a Muslim Palestinian character, they would have been like, "That's nah, cut, cut, cut." In my opinion, no, of course, bro. But that's the always that they, the. But the fact that they changed it, I know they still in there, but they're not calling it an Israeli superhero, now, are they? No, she's. Uh, we'll find out, bro. We don't That's know. We haven't seen the film, so... I mean, look, man. I, I, look, we don't need to get into that part. No, 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 exactly. You uh, know, bro, come on. Red Hulk. Ooh. Red Hulk. Red we're, gonna, Hulk. we're finally going to get an angry Hulk back in the MCU. Yes. Come on. I don't yeah. mean to be bad, man, but... The Hulks that we've been we, we've been getting since Endgame has not been... You well, know, since Endgame? Since... Endgame, yeah. Because he became smart Hulk in Endgame. Which yeah, was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Which was cool, but... You, you, we, I want Angry Hulk back. I hope this kind of leads into an Angry Hulk later. Hmm. But Red Hulk, he looked fantastic. I know we just saw little clips, but just back the power. Red Hulk. But we're in a Bro, world. was there a scene of uh, Cap going through the building? Over the, 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 the shield. Yeah. I don't think it was Cap. It looked like that was it looked a like big... somebody like was flying through it and broke up the building. It could be because he's bro, I don't know if he's still got the Wakanda thing, but his thing flies like Iron Man. Yeah, 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 bro. That was sick. He bro. looks fantastic. Yeah, he looks amazing. Costume design, Oof. perfect. Anthony Mackie is my cat. I even love that, you know, it was deep. Yeah. But I think he's accepted it when when he said to him, like, You're you, not Steve Rogers. You're not Steve. And he goes, You're right. I'm not. And I love that. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And like I said, like that woke shit's not going to work with this because this is a 10 year transition yeah, yeah i've yeah, accepted yeah. it he's wicked i hope they they will give references to perceive rogers i hope old man rogers shows up just as a cameo just as an advice guy we saw a giant no, elias eliza back the uh, old black captain america is he in the trailer he was in the trailer he's the one who tried to shoot him obviously he seems possessed about that not possessed but seems like something took over his mind um a giant, oh, a check. what's his name elijah elijah yeah a giant um yeah he was in the password uh i'll text to um red hulk oh there was also references to the c- central being yeah being thing they've always keep bringing up i saw that on things so there was some kind of reference there as well to the from from eternals basically that that's uh set what they call them centrals i can't pick my uh, words right now keep going keep going give me yeah. a minute. So keep talking about that. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that was that was this trailer. Like I said, with Deadpool Wolverine, we're seeing this. I'm just like the MCU is back because I haven't been pumped right. for a movie in ages, and this is a Captain America movie as well. They they've been Captain America movies even from the first one have been fantastic, but this one felt like a Winter Soldier vibes, which is why I'm just hyped about it. Um, I'm so looking forward to it, man. I can't wait. February 2026. We'd have to wait too long, you know, because time goes quick. Before you know it, it's going to be New Year's and Christmas and New Year's and February's here. But that movie is going to set the tone, hopefully, of the future. I think Wolverine Deadpool is going to set the tone. And then that one for the MCU characters that we're familiar with, I think it's going to hopefully set the tone of movies moving forward because, damn, 
that was good. That was good. I don't know. I'm I'm in. I uh, what's his name? Was it? I don't have my phone. Oh, man, I can't even pronounce his name, and I'm not gonna try. But I will try to bring it up. Um, there we go. Let me let me get this dude out. Uh, so we can. Yeah, yeah, my guy, my guy. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. I've done it in the past and I've embarrassed myself. So all respects to him. Um, I won't try to embarrass myself and disrespect his name and butcher his name. But seeing his character in it, they, again, I'm not comparing it, but it just had that same tone and feel of like the Winter Soldier and stuff. I just That was one of the best Marvel movies of the whole series so far. Definitely up there in the top three, at least. Top three to five, at least. <laughs> um so i'm super pumped for this for this movie man i think th this week they dropped it marvel dropped it um absolutely fantastic week man for marvel fans for mcu fans and we were we were privileged enough to to experience all of it and then the last thing to finish off was uh with the mcu stuff was agatha all along they released the trailer on that i'm just going to finish off with agatha, agatha yeah 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 go for it man finish up bro another great Trailer, look, I, the reason why I'm not as pumped is because one, I'm not familiar with her, right? Uh, so I'm not too familiar with her character. One, all I just know her from Wonder Vision, and I thought she was great in that. And I, I saw we saw Wonder. Wonder's one of my favorite characters. You mm -hmm. know, I keep saying this, man. You're the most powerful female character that we have in the MCU. They built her up since El Age of Ultron, and then they just killed her off from that. No, you want you want a female lead character. Wonder, uh, Wonder Vision. Um, What's her name, man? Scarlet Witch. Witch is is the one. So it looks like her body's dead. It looks like it's after, uh, obviously after Wonder. So basically, Witch. it looks like it's based on the spell that Wonder put on her, mm. and she's trying to break out of that. Cool. Yeah. Exactly. So, and it's after like Multiverse of Madness as well. But it looks good. People got theories out there that the Wonder body that they saw is the one that um, in Wonder got crushed. Time. Yeah. No. 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 Not her. The one with the kids. In Multiverse of Madness. Oh, okay. That one. That's what people's theories are because she dressed the clothing was the same. Anyway, I hope we get Wonder back because that's one of my big things, I'll be honest with you. So if this one brings back, man, horror vibes. Bro, me and Ash were freaking like, out at the bed end, you know, the back bend Yeah, yeah. Like, so like you like you've got your Yeah, it's got a good feel to it. It reminds me of Werewolf by Midnight. So I'm 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 looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, cool. Well, look, that's coming out in the, the in a couple of months on Disney Plus. We'll see where that takes us. It will introduce us more to uh, Agatha and that cos not cosmic spiritual witch world and sorcery world or whatnot. And then we'll see where that takes us, man. But it's been a fantastic week. It's been a fantastic MCU Marvel week. Just proper geek out week for us, man. But wanted to do this special edition just to kind of give a Marvel update from last week and what we've experienced and then the regular podcast will come out later on in the week with yeah, other news definitely. and stuff but guys whoo thanks for like yeah, anything else anything no no no, no i think that's it bro that's that's fine all right that's guys fine. thanks for watching subscribing liking still appreciate all the feedback and the and, and just the love that we're getting yeah and we're just going to keep doing our thing because we love this shit too man so, yeah, exactly cool is it all right cool all right, guys you make got... sure you follow us on our social media journey instagram tiktok facebook X. Peace. Catch you guys up too. Peace.